Okay, I'm going to very quickly show you how, how to add this text here. This is just text, um, just to let you know. Um, it's the easiest way of doing it. Um, you can also put a logo in here, which is also very easy, and I'm going to show you how. So I'm over here, I'm in the WordPress area, the dashboard. Um, on the left hand side here we've got appearance and then we've got um, our theme options um, so you should have some theme options too um, most theme options allow you to upload a logo or at least some text so in the text um, in the text section so I'm going to go to custom text you can see I've already got my site title there and I can also put a description in here so if I just put blah blah just so you know you can write whatever you like in there um, and then if I go down to here and save changes and go onto my website, refresh the page. You can see that there's also opportunity to put a slogan in there or something. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take that away. Right. Clicking here on the logo image means you can upload an image. So in this box here, you can upload an image. So you just literally would click on upload now. You choose the image wherever it might be, um, and you would get it from there really. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't have a logo. Um, you can either get someone to make you a logo, you can make your own logo. Um, I will show you how to outsource that kind of thing in our outsourcing section of our um, membership section of the website. You'll be able to find some outsourcing videos um, and that will show you how to get that done very cheaply. However at this stage um, I think text is, is, is sufficient really. Um, and this is only a test website so I'm not going to get one made um, however you can um, if you want to however I think text is just as good really um, the only thing to point out actually um, is branding um, if you're really wanting to set up a business you really want to um, have a good brand um, and if we look at companies like Facebook Twitter um, I don't know Virgin um, all those different brands you really can tell that their brand is their brand um, and, and it's, it's their lifeline really um, so I recommend building a brand if you're building a business um, if you just want to get your website up quickly then this will do for now however I would concentrate on putting a brand a logo as soon as you can um, as a tip for you um, so I'm going to refresh the page and you can now see that the blah blah has gone away um, and we've got our logo there. Um, next I'm going to show you how to change these images um, and this is very easy again in our theme options the same area we've got another um, men menu here um, and we've got lots of different settings here now we're in featured posts um, and this is where the slideshow is um, and this is where we can edit the slideshow. Now you can see you've got the option to have five slides with this particular theme. Now we're only going to do a couple because again I'm only demonstrating this to you. So we're going to edit. So I've just deleted the rest as you can see. Um, they're just deleted. You can always add them in again by clicking add new slide um, and then you get the options of adding the new slide and putting all the details in um, that you need to put in um, which we're going to edit on this particular part of the website. Um, and you can also put content in here as well. Um, so we're going to do that next. So first we're going to need the images and we're going to need to make images. So to do that I'm going to do it in Photoshop. Um, now you can use other um, other image editing tools, um, Paint, um, uh, I don't know if many of the top of Paintshop Pro I think is another one. Um, there's another one called Sumo Paint um, which is actually a website which you can go to and use it for free. Um, I think it's called Sumo Paint, but the link will be in the resources section. Um, that is a very, very good website. That's basically Photoshop um, for free on a web browser. Uh, so you can't really say more more than that for for, for basic image editing. Anyway, um, I'm sure it doesn't have the full features that Photoshop has, but I know it's got some pretty good features. Um, actually, let's have a let's have a quick browse for Sumo Paint. Here you go, Sumo Paint, that's it. So it's sumopaint.com. Or one word, this is it. And this is how you can um, edit your images. Um, we could even use this, to be honest with you. I think we will, because it just gives you an idea of 
of what it's like and how good it is. Okay, so I'm here now. I'm going to click Open Sumo Paint. And it's loading it up. And we're now in Sumo Paint. I'm going to hit click New Image. And we're now in Sumo Paint. Right, so we're in Sumo Paint at the moment and we need to make uh, an image for our image slider. So we need to go Image, Image Size. Now the reason I'm, I'm changing the size of this image is because it's a particular size um, and I've forgotten what that is but you can find it back at the WordPress theme options. If you see here it says 615 by 300 pixels is a re recommended image size. So we're going to go into Sumo Paint. Um, and we're going to change the size of the image that was 600 by 315 I'm just going to double check that because I'm sometimes very forgetful sorry 615 by 300 615 by 300 and I'm going to click OK and that's now giving me the size of the image I want I'm going to make this a bit bigger OK so we have our correctly sized workspace area um, for our banner and we're going to open now an image from our computer so I've got an image already here it's a lose weight image which I'm going to import into our banner um, now I'm going to use the select tool here which is a select Tool. I'm not very familiar with this program just to warn you in advance because I usually use Photoshop although this is very similar to Photoshop and other image editing software I suggest you use this one if you don't have something better um, just because it's pretty good really it's very similar to Photoshop and it's free to use um, okay so I've just selected that I'm going to go edit copy I'm then going to shut down this screen here I'm going to click into this area so I'm definitely working back on my slideshow image and I'm going to paste the image in okay so now the image is inside there but it's not the right size so I'm going to go free transform down here which lets you transform the image and I'm just going to bring it a bit smaller I'm going to probably bring it to about there I'm going to hit enter yeah that's right okay and then I'm going to drag the image to the end here And I'm going to use this as uh, an opportunity to almost as an advertisement um, on our website. Okay, so now that's in the right place, I'm going to use the text tool to put some text in here. Right, okay, so I've got the text tool here. I've clicked on here, and I'm now going to write some text. Now, I have a notepad open, and I've just done some notes of what I want to put in. Um, my as my content um, now I'm going to put this this here learn how to lose weight and it's just a quick sort of headline um, and it's going to lead this is my, my idea is for this to lead through um, and be a link to um, a post or a um, or a page of our website um, and our, one of our pages will be learn how to lose weight and it will be it will be offering products and things like that for people and um, good products of how to lose weight um, and and also there will be articles which I'm going to write and to link into that so this is how it's going to work for my website here so I've just put learn how to lose weight um, and I'm going to change the font because Arial is a bit boring now it picks up the fonts from your computer. This might be worth just noting that now. Um, it it grabs those fonts um, that you've already got installed. 